So another gloomy day back at the farm to see what's going on. We have to wait for Soak City to reopen and coming up on the final weekend of the Boysenberry Festival, Knott's Berry Farm. I said, hey. What's going on? Well, they closed up the uh, little warehouse here where the depths was, but they're bringing out more stuff for Scary Farm now. So looks like they're in that mindset now, bringing out all their junk. Also, sorry that I'm tardy to the party for all this. You're late. For what? Fair enough. But uh, I haven't been over at the hotel in a long time, so I figured I'd come over here and show you all what was going on. I'm sure you've seen it on a couple other different places, but the front entrance is now open, and so is the outside uh, seating at the restaurant, so that's cool. Still don't have our friggin' K, though. So let it be known that whether it's an off day or a busy day or whatever, getting here at Park Open is never really the best idea. They are opening at 10 a.m. again, not doing the soft open at 9.30, so just remember that on off days. It could take a while. But if you, I mean, if you get here like 15 minutes before or 15, 20 minutes after the gates open, that's usually, um, this whole crowd has, has gone down. This is really the only time you'll see this throughout the day is just right at 10 a.m. when the gates open. Or you just get the premium annual pass and you come in whenever you want. You never have to worry about it. Well, that was interesting. Walking through the uh, entrance of Ghost Town here on the way to the bakery, and it smells like just fresh popcorn and boysenberry, and I never realized just how good those two smells mixed together can smell. And now, I'm starving. And let's not forget the latest on my list of uh, questions that I've asked that they immediately got to the day after I show up, and that's uh, Miss Murphy's Kitchen. I st uh, from what I've heard, they still don't really know what they're going to serve here as far as the menu. I'm guessing it'll probably be the same type of stuff as Spurs, which will vary by season. Either way, I, I am always down for new food establishments in this park. Bring it on. Oh, I'm sorry, did you think I wasn't gonna get a burrito? I'm really debating on whether I should be riding Ghost Rider or not. That line ain't that bad and they're running two trains and they seem to be loading pretty efficiently, which is kind of a, a rare occasion on this ride. So I might just have to do it. For the betterment of saving time, I'm going to hold off on Ghost Rider today. Maybe next time. For now, we'll just spend the morning walking through the sleepy town of Calico, where it really holds up its name as a ghost town. <laughs> it's been a while since I've been out here to the cemetery too. Still just as dead as ever. <laughs> See what I did there? But look who's back. Old 41. 41's getting its reps in. <clears throat> you love to see it. And now I'm deaf. And hopefully before they run Ghost Town Alive this year, uh, they bring a little bit more dirt and cover up this little um, opening on Harrow McTavish's grave because it, that's the place where you step on it or you feel it and you can feel the heart beating. Oh, the ponies are going too. Okay, maybe I ride those. I honestly can't remember the last time I rode this ride because um, it's always just got a really long line or it's shut down. But I think today seems like a good day. Since I'm, if I'm not gonna ride Ghost Rider, at least I can walk on something. Now it looks like they're prepping to get that second train running too. Very nice. Roaring 20s, not so roaring today. Guy's uh, by himself on the on the bumper cars. But I gotta check in here at the, at the Blind Tiger. It's Monday, so yeah, they usually, they usually don't do business on Mondays. So all he's gonna play the 88s and I'm gonna take my business elsewhere. As far as the, uh, what was it called? The M&T market, I think is what it was supposed to be. I don't know, the quick six thing that they're putting here. The uh, fully automated market. Uh, so they um, they took all of the all the concrete out from there. So it's just a big pit now, full of rain. So I'm not sure if they got to lay the plans first and then, I don't know, do the rebar and, and uh, the, you know, put a new slab there or whatever. But uh, they got time and it's not a huge project, but I'm sure this is going to be one of those things that they just kind of ship in and put together after they lay the foundation under here. So probably nothing crazy that's gonna really have to go into it, um, but it'll be cool when it's here. It'll be nice to have. And with the log ride, it looks like they finally got the uh, parts done with the little flume there, that little swoop at the bottom, the little elbow piece. Uh, so the outside looks like it's all done. Maybe only a matter of time now before they get this thing open again and, and running. I mean, today's not really that big of a deal because 
obviously it's super cloudy outside and I ain't trying to get wet, but maybe some people would want to. And uh, this is kind of a staple for the park. So it sucks to see it down for so long. I realize that it does have its downtime, but I, I just hate that its downtime has to be months. Kind of cruddy, but it is what it is, I guess. I am inevitable. I feel like this should be the first ride that people do when, they, when the park opens. Because this is always like pretty much a walk-on for the first almost hour that the park is, is open. So again, do the park backwards. And it only took a week, but this, uh, this crossing is now open again when the train's not driving by. And I was told that they're actually waiting for parts for this ride to get back up and running again. Now, fortunately, from what I hear, the parts are domestic, so it's not something where um, we got to worry about um, shipping lines being plugged up or all that. But hopefully uh, these parts come in soon, and when they do, this, this thing will be up and running here in no time. I also saw uh, an article the other day that they shipped up 340 and moved it across the country to get refurbed. So there's no timetable as to how long it's gonna take and honestly, no word about whether even we're gonna get it back. But the fact that they got it up and gone is a good sign. That means that um, they don't want it to just sit and pile up on a bunch of rust. Fiesta Village is not bad this morning either. There's quite a few people here enjoying the festivities. That's kind of nice to see. You don't get to see that all the time here. While we head into Camp Snoopy, I want to take this time to remind everybody that tomorrow, April 23rd, which I guess will be yesterday from when you're seeing this video, um, they're doing the storytelling badge. So if you happen to be one of the first people here on Tuesday, then you got that storytelling badge. And I think that's three out of the four that they're giving up, right? So that means we're past the halfway point now. Tender paw going strong, still welding in that uh, building across the way. And then I am so ridiculous. I completely didn't even realize that this new wood structure that they're building in the front here is the new restrooms and changing station area. So yeah, I should have I should have figured that out. But they're still hard at work back there. The track is all there. The train is still on the track. But they're just they're they're working. Not really that much to report as far as here as far as like visual progression. But obviously they've got like 46 guys back there doing stuff, so something's happening. And the G the, uh, the little Beagle Jeeps, the little Jeep ride, they're still doing that stuff there too. They're still kind of in the process of laying the, ch the marking where the track is going to go. But there's really there really hasn't been a whole lot of progression there either. The Bobcat's still back there, so I don't know if they're still going to be digging. They might be. They might still have uh, more, more digging to do. I don't know if they're going to um, have to lay any, like foundation down for the tracks or what I doubt it it should be basically kind of the same way they did the last the last two rides that were there right and I also don't know if they're gonna move that little shack that's obviously got power in it so maybe they go around it and they just kind of squeeze um, in that little that little uh today junior and that little opening to the right I don't know and that's airmail and that's all I have to say about that Nah, but we found a little family of geese. There's a mom and a dad and, and two, two kids. They're probably wondering about what's going on with Montezuma too. The theater, they still have 100 billion guys there doing 100 billion different things. I don't know anymore what's happening. They've got those little markers kind of sticking up out of the ground. Well, if you can see, it's, I mean, they're, they're, they're getting the raking down. I don't know if, if they're doing that for level uh, or what, but it doesn't even look like they've, they've laid the rebar yet, so. Who knows, they'll get to that and then they'll get to the stage eventually. And for the train, um, it looks like they started digging out the electrical. So uh, maybe because these are gonna, I know these are gonna be uh, electric trains that they are replacing the old one with. Gonna be hard to do in the rain, but uh, they've, yeah, they've kind of got piping dug out all along this little gouge here. That just looks weird now. Just uh, another regular old day at the farm. I think I see my my exit right there. So Knott's is running up on the heels of Boysenberry Festival this weekend, and uh, it looks like it's well in its uh, kind of downtime refurbishment in between kind of phase before summer kicks off. Uh, Soak City is not too far off now. Every time I've come, I've seen people in there working, and uh, this new bar that they're gonna have up should uh, prove to be a little added piece of summer bliss. So, as I depart once again and embark back into my journey of real life, I bid thee adieu 
And as always, catch you on that flippity flop. <laughs>